Good morning, Quidditch fans. It's Wednesday. First of all, I want to thank John once again for changing days with me last week. It was really nice to see you and, and Kate. It was just adorable, and it was great to do footage for Comic-Con on Friday and Saturday. As you saw, it was a lot of fun. I ended up not going on the Sunday. I decided to sleep until 1 because it just felt like the right thing to do. I think next year I'll just get a Saturday pass because during that weekend of Comic-Con, the last couple of years, it's also been the weekend of the Historic House Festival here in New York. The Historic House Trust is just a confederation of different Historic House museums and last weekend they were giving free admission. The Edgar Allan Poe Cottage in the Bronx reopened to the public after a year and a half, which was really cool. And also there's Open House New York where different places that generally aren't open to the public open up for tours, like um, an unfinished part of the High Line, which I discussed in a previous video. I'll put a link to that video in the doobly-doo, and um, the old TWA terminal at JFK Airport and stuff like that. It's really cool, and I always miss it because of Comic-Con, and yeah, so probably it's a Saturday next year. I just came back. It's actually Tuesday night. I just saw Stevie's video, which is why I felt compelled to do my vlog now. Also because tomorrow I'll be out doing stuff like going to class and getting groceries and going to comic book shops and whatever. New Doctor Who issue comes out tomorrow. New Star Trek next week. I'm excited. I was just at MoMA um, for the Talk To Me Symposium. They've been doing an exhibit on interactive design called Talk To Me. And tonight and tomorrow they're doing a symposium speaking to different people who produce pieces for the, for the exhibition and just generally people who create things. Tonight was really cool in that it was a conversation with the host of Radiolab. If you don't know what Radiolab is, Radiolab is a show, uh, it's done by WNYC, which is New York's public radio station, along with NPR. So it's distributed nationally, and plus it's available online as a podcast, which is how I usually listen to it. And it's two guys, Jad Abumrad, who is a composer, and also the son of a scientist, and Robert Quilrich, who is the science correspondent for NPR and has worked on Nightline in 2020 and Good Morning America and blah, 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 blah. And they, it's basically the This American Life of Science, where they discuss scientific topics, but through the eyes of the uh, eyes of society, through uh, different stories, and it's generally based around a certain theme. The last edition of, the, of Radio Lab was based on loops. For some reason, they did not include anything on Andrew Bird, which I was un, which un, was unfortunate. But otherwise, it was really cool. So it's great to see them basically talk about their episode talking with machines. Basically, it was sort of half listening party, half discussion. Um, they had a writer who's written about technology come up and join them in the discussion, and it was really just an enjoyable thing that combined. The exhibition, which I saw about a month and a half ago, and one of the favorite radio shows that I love, um, to create a really cool, really cool event. I'm gonna ask a question because I want to fill time. The hat of choosing is here once again. I'm not gonna sing a song because really I'm just procrastinating from doing work while doing this. So. I, I got me. I got me. So I, I think you either, I think you have to ask me questions or challenge me to do stuff. I can't remember what the rules are with the hat of choosing anymore. Actually, actually I wrote them. I think it's bad because I wrote dun dun dun. So I don't know. I don't know what this does. But um, if you leave stuff in comments, I'll talk about them in next week's video or something. Or you'll, can, you can challenge me to do something. Um, unsavory or unpalatable if you want, if you're just a sadist. And Rob, and I'll see you tomorrow.